Are you interested in a 3D printed 4x4 chassis? I recently just finished this project. The chassis has a differential system, which is also 3D printed gears and the less metalwork you're gonna make. Do you wanna give it a try? Let's get started. All right, let's back to my workbench. You guys see a number of stuff here, some 3D printed parts and some metal parts. Make sure your 3D printer is calibrated, otherwise the gears won't work properly. You need to buy ball bearings. There are two types of them used in my project. Two big ones, which are 15mm outer diameter and 10mm inner diameter. Another one is smaller which is 10mm outer diameter and 3mm inner diameter. Bolts are used to fix everything together. You guys need 10mm in length and 2.5mm in diameter. You may notice that I use two different bolts. One is flat head and the other is round head. Don't worry about this, just buy a round head one. This is gonna work well in this project. The shaft is the only part that you need to process manually. You take a little bit of time and patience. You need a file to make the tip become flat. And make the shaft tip a D shape. Then you can put the shaft into the gears. I'm gonna show you how I get this done. This shaft is previously made but failed for some reasons. I'm gonna trim the tip off with the plier, then make the tip neat and flat. You need a file or a rotary tool, or any other ways to do so. The next step is we need to know how big we're gonna make the shaft flat. We need a caliper and measure the thickness of the barrel gear. Not the small ones or big ones, it's the middle size barrel gear. We now have the reading from the caliper, it's about 3.7mm. I'm gonna transfer the lens onto the shaft. Just do like this. Line up the shaft to the caliper, like I show you, and put a mark onto the shaft. Now we know where we are gonna make the shaft flat. Keep this in mind, don't try to make it in one time, make the progress little by little and match it into the gear if the shaft gets into the gear easily it means you probably overshape the shaft we need it to be just right to fit into the gear Use the same process to finish all shafts, but the drive shaft is a bit different. You need to make the D shape longer. Get your caliper to measure the drive gear and transfer the lens onto the drive shaft. Then you will know how big is the shaft to be flat. When you finish all D shapes on each of the shafts, congratulations, you are ready to move on to the next step. We are going to put the stops on each of them. The stop ring is the part that will limit the shaft to remain itself. Then you could not pull it out or push it in. So this is an important part. In this process, you'd better use a rotary tool as I used. This is going to save you a lot of time. Measure 70mm and transfer the lens onto the second short shaft. Measure from the D-shaped side, mark around it. Then you are ready to make a groove in it. Use the rotary tool carefully when you do it. Safety glasses are must wear. Make a circle. Make it nice. A round one. And with two of these, you need two ball bearings. And then this one 
and you probably now have to just cut a little bit this is the ring around it but probably I, I have to cut a little bit more because it's too long then you have to stop ready see the ball bearings won't get out you cannot put this out that's nice use the same process to finish the longest shaft but the place where you place the ring is different it's 25.5mm so you need to pay attention when you do this there you have this see you have made two like this then the last one this this very short one the short shaft you have I think we have to assemble this this just uh, press this in use a clamp to push the driver shaft in that's it see check the tip nice flat okay that's it you need one more washer to put into here just put it through here like this put one ball bearing just just mark like this and turn around then you have the mark here and now you can just remove this all of this pull this away and don't forget to put your the washer here and one ball bearing here and pinch all right yeah we just fit this very well then this one won't go anywhere the next step is we're gonna assemble the pinning gears this set is very easy to do. This is 3D printed parts. The only thing you need to look after is this, the shaft. I bought this one. You can see, you can read from the package. The diameter is two mil. This one is very important. Grab one piece out. It's a sharp tip here. Just trim this off. Then use your file, grind the end neat and the flat, fill that any sharp edge. Okay, all good. Then the next step is we're gonna cut the length we need. Grab your caliper the housing of the, I think the gear and uh, grab this part and measure from the groove here, this side to the other side and uh, you just uh, read it, it's 26.9 alright, that's the side we need to cut and uh, get the marker Mark it. You can cut a little bit shorter, that's fine. Alright, put this away. Use pliers. Then just cut. Alright, then you have this part down. Pull this through. Then the gear both sides and then try to fit this in all right that's it that's how we just made the pinning gears it's very really easy this step now we could put everything together this will be the most interesting part 
put one ball bearing into the big barrel gear and one for the cover. Put two middle sized barrel gears aside. I'm gonna put grease. This will help the gears reduce friction. If you want the gears to work much longer, you'd better do it too. Put this on. Push the pinion gear set in and spin the shaft a few times to spread the grease or put more grease. Then put the bolts to fix this part. Don't forget to use 10 mil bolts here, otherwise you can damage the part. Now we can pull our shafts out and then place the big bearings on each side of the gear assembly. Then we put the shafts back into it. Place the assembly onto the housing and uh, organize these ball bearings into their positions. That's what I want. All right, let's try to put the cover on and uh, feel the resistance. Ah, uh, very nice. Okay, over here. And just a screen And uh, here. That's it. Put this one. And uh, we just finished the whole thing. We put everything together. All right. I've done this red extra and uh, it seems like all working. If I just uh, spin the wheel by finger, uh, the driver shaft is spinning. And also, if I just spin the driver shaft and both sides of the wheel spinning too. So I think uh, the system is working. Now I'm gonna do one more test. I'm gonna put the red axle onto, onto the drill. And uh, let's see what's gonna happen. It's working. And now I'm gonna do one more test. Uh, it's the differential system. See? It's working. Another side. This side. This side. Just hold it a little bit. So it's working. And if you have any questions, please comment below and uh, I will respond to you as soon as possible. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and give me a thumbs up and share the video with your friends. I will be really appreciated. I will see you in the next video.